Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Designs. Hey, Tropical Storm Lee is intensifying and we have a 70 mile per hour storm right now, but don't you see that swirl? I mean, it does not take a meteorologist to see the symmetry that's beginning to build in that storm, the four quadrants, and then also that uh, cyclone development with that swirl. And then also look at how the storm is breathing. You see these uh, cirrus that are floating from the outside of that storm. We've got a healthy growing storm at that. Now it is just going to continue to look better and better on that satellite imagery as it continues to intensify into hurricane status, which could be later today with that next intermediate advisory at two. Next complete advisory with Tim Deegan at 5 p.m. Of course, so pressure will continue to drop. That means our wind speeds will continue to increase. It's still moving toward the west northwest at about 15 miles per hour there. Now, where is it going to go? There is high confidence in this forecast with the track. So right now, at least in the uh, short term, through Saturday, we're looking at it approaching the Leeward Islands, uh, the Lesser Antilles. However, it is going to stay just to the north of them, the north of Puerto Rico as well, and then beginning to approach the Turks, the Bahamas, before it makes that turn, which is going to be great news for those islands. Really, anyone that would be in the path of this storm, gosh, you don't even want to think about the impacts. There will still be significant swell, rough surf and seas in the area that this storm is traveling. We begin to see it swells by Monday. You saw those surfers on that camera though a little bit ago. Uh, there's already a nice little little bump out there for those surfers out by Jacksonville Beach Pier. But we will continue to watch that uh, turn when and where it's going to happen, right? Um, uh, hundreds of miles off of our coast, though, at least at this point. So just stay tuned to those up updates because, of course, the tropics are, uh, you know, problem child this time of the year. Let's just say it like that because we are approaching the height of the hurricane season, September 10th on Sunday. Weather whiplash uh, here locally. We were at 63 yesterday morning. We're going to be at 97 tomorrow afternoon. So record week of weather both in the mornings as far as our low temperatures and the afternoons as far as our high temperatures go. We are heating up from start to finish though, and that started today. Upper 60s is what we started off at. Uh, we're going to end off in those mid 90s. Tomorrow we start off in the 70s and we end off in those upper 90s. We'll remain in the 90s as we head into the weekend. We just knock off a few degrees thanks to rain that begins to build into the area. No rain in sight for now, at least through Thursday. We are going to be dry. A couple clouds floating by from west to east with that warmer land breeze and then again we hit that 97 that record high on Thursday afternoon showers and storms will begin to build uh, across the area especially from west to east on Friday afternoon and into the early evening couple coastal showers possible on Saturday morning with thunderstorms building late in the day Sunday looks to be a bit drier